Is there anything gene-wise relating to sugar that often goes wrong? Yeah, so some people are much more vulnerable to developing insulin resistance if they eat more sugar. Right. And just, so, and just explain, if you could, what you mean by insulin resistance. Yeah. So we need insulin, a hormone, to move sugar from the bloodstream into our cells. And that's where the sugar, again, is burnt or stored. Um, but it shouldn't be whizzing around our bloodstream for too long or at too high levels because, again, it can cause damage to the arteries and something called glycation, which means it's like a caramelization. Yeah, sort of the sugar sticks together, yeah, becomes sticky. Yeah, it's a yeah. horrible thought, isn't it? Um, so we need this hormone insulin to move the sugar into the cells and out of our circulation. So you can have problems with that in two key ways. One, you might not make enough insulin in the first place, and that could be because your pancreas just isn't as good at doing that. And there is a gene that is involved in this. So people might not have done anything particularly wrong. They might have had a pretty healthy diet, um, but their ability to make insulin has never been quite as good as the people who have the good version of right. the gene. Um, so they need to be a bit more careful. So they're more susceptible to higher blood yeah. sugar levels. Yeah. yeah. And those same people, if they're female, are more prone to developing diabetes when they're pregnant. Right. So it's related. So gestational. To, yeah. 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 So it's useful to know that, I think. Just again, you could take extra care. Um, and then there are autoimmune conditions that mean that your pancreas... Uh, is damaged and it doesn't produce insulin as well, like type 1 diabetes. And there are genes that mean some people are much more at risk of developing that. So, for example, if you have a family where there is a parent who has type 1 diabetes, we've had a situation where they've wanted their baby to be tested to see if the baby has got that risk because they want to do everything they can to prevent damage as early as possible. Whereas if you if you knew they were in the clear and they hadn't inherited this detrimental variance, then you could be more relaxed um, about about how you feed and protect them. It just helps to inform the choices that you make. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Uh, sorry, carry on. And then there is a more kind of typical diabetes, the more common one, which is type 2 diabetes. And this is when we become resistant to insulin. And that is usually because we've kind of pushed it a little bit too far. So people have had a lot of sugar and the poor old cells are trying to respond to this sugar and let it in. Yeah. But when they get too full, um, they start to put their stops on and they don't respond to that insulin. And so that is type two diabetes ultimately. Now, there are some people who have a receptor, again, a gene that impacts that transfer of the sugar into the cells. And they are more at risk of developing that resistance. So again, it's good to know about this as early as you can because it's going to persuade you to be more aware mm, vigilant, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. Make, makes perfect sense. I often describe insulin a little bit like uh, this whole insulin resistance, a bit like trying to get into a nightclub when you're underage. And I know it's a silly way of remembering this, but if you imagine sort of going to a nightclub once every couple of weeks they might let you in if they know but if you keep pushing it and every night yeah. you're going they're like okay no you're really taking yeah. the mick here and that's kind of what happens the cells like i just can't do this anymore yeah it makes perfect sense what you're saying about how if that receptor has the variant so maybe that again that lock in the door is a bit faulty or a bit bent yeah. or something's not right to allow it to open then you're more likely to you know if your diet's high in sugar you're not going to be able to push the sugar into the cell. So the sugar's building up in the blood higher and higher. Yeah. And then like you said, we get all those damaging effects. 
So it, it is, again, an example of, I guess, how we would then individualize. I mean, of course, we're always trying to promote reducing sugar, reducing sugar, but just being a bit more mindful of, of, of that, even more mindful.